Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Previously, we brought you the unboxing of Windows 7 Professional. Today, we're going to show you a video of the installation. We're going to show you how long it takes to install it, and then how long it takes to boot compared to Windows Vista. The first thing that you need to do, if you haven't done it already, though, is back up all of your precious information. You don't want to lose anything. Windows 7 will make you format your drive and begin a fresh installation. Follow along. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to actually take the Windows 7 CD and put it into your CD or DVD drive. One thing to take note of also is to follow me over here to the screen itself. In the BIOS, you will need to set it so that it boots to your CD-ROM first. Most systems are set to boot to the hard disk first. Many BIOSes are different. Inside of this one, this is the uh, EVGA SLI classified motherboard. In this one, you go in here and it has a boot device. You click in here and you change it to boot from the CD-ROM first. Your system may be different, but make sure that you do this. Otherwise, you'll probably skip the installation process. So, if you follow the procedures I've so far described, you should actually be on this screen. This is the first screen of the Windows 7 installation process. There's a next button. All you do is simply click that and then hit install now. You'll have to accept the license agreement and once again hit the next button. This, they have the options of an upgrade or a custom advanced. I would suggest using a custom advanced installation as this is the freshest way to do it. This will format your system and create like a brand new system for you. This runs better and is actually a cleaner way to do the installation. Okay, in this system, I only have one hard drive. You may have more than one in yours. Whatever hard drive that you're going to be installing onto, you need to just simply click that hard drive, choosing it, and then hit the next buttons. If it says you have files from previous windows, you know this, go ahead and click OK because it's going to erase them all. Windows has now began installation. We are currently 12 minutes into installation and we are on the completing installation screen so installation should be completed within just a few more minutes. Okay, it looks like um, Windows is about to start for the very first time. We'll see how long this actually does take. Currently we are at 27 minutes. Let's see if this is the actual final screen we see before actually boasting into Windows. So the system right now is currently checking the video performance of the system. Okay, we are in Windows 7. We have uh, finally actually booted into Windows 7. I'm going to stop the time clock here. That is basically almost 28 minutes. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. So 28 minutes to fully get your system installed with Windows 7. Um, this will not really be all that you have to do. Your system will probably still want to install some upgrades and you still got to take into consideration that you're going to have to reinstall all your programs. So to undergo this task, I'd give yourself actually a couple of hours. Next week, follow along as we show you all the new features and new things that go along with Windows 7 Professional. Thanks a lot.